Hey everyone, the Flying Holucha here, and today we're going to be unboxing Royal Space Force Wings of Hon. Hon. I can't remember how to pronounce that. I thought I'd just record a video and unboxing for you today due to the fact that it's watching the World Cup and England versus France. Harry Kane missing the penalty, and we get knocked out of the World Cup in the quarterfinals. Yeah. I'm not going to go too much into that. I just thought I'd let you know the time I recorded this and uploaded it. England went out of the World Cup. It was a pre 50 50 game. No team played better than the other, but the referee was god awful. Should have given us more free kicks and penalties that were deserved, but never given. And the fact that Harry Kane missed his second penalty is. I don't, I don't know why I'm saying this in a boxing video. I just thought I'd mention it, but... Enough doom and gloom. It's time to unbox this bad boy. Now, this is an old anime from the 80s. So it is directed by a guy called Hiroyuki Yamaga, I think it's pronounced. The film was released in 1987, and the guy that directed it... He worked on the Ungenesis Evangelion. Now, he was one of, I think there's like seven. He was like one of the seven founders of Gainax. You know, Gainax is a very old studio. Very old. They're literally known for very classic anime, like old anime. Uh, the most modern anime that they're very famous for is Gurren Lagann. But then, apart from Gurren Lagann, I wouldn't say any other Gainax thing. You know... After the year 2000, it was very memorable. Just, yeah, before 2000 and Gurren Lagann, like, what Gainax is known, uh, known for. <laughs> also, that Gainax ending is a meme going around. How their endings are always like, whoa, that came out of nowhere. But, uh, yeah, he hasn't really directed many memorable shit. Most 90s and 80s stuff, but I've never even heard of any of them. Let alone anyone if you talked about them. But, um... Not many people have talked about this film. A lot of praise for it, but... Then they get a lot of people that don't understand about the film. They don't really know what's going on, so they just leave bad reviews. But, uh, yeah, I got this for 15 quid. It's sold out in CEX. It's going for over, like, 50 to plus pounds. On, a uh, eBay. So this is very out of print and very rare and expensive. So, all the anime, getting it back in stock, and then selling it for £15, amazing. Which I'm really happy about. But, um, I've got my hands on it. It's now sold out. All the anime don't have it anymore. <laughs> it's sold out. And what I did is I accidentally bought Megalobox instead of this by accident. And so I've I sent Megalobox back, and then I re-bought this just before it sold out, so I'm really happy. I wouldn't say I re-bought it, I never even managed to buy it in the first place. But, uh, there's a director there. See, it says Neon Genesis Evangelion. He worked on it. He didn't direct it, but... Apparently, he directed one of the episodes of uh, Gurren Lagann as well, seeing as he is a founder of Gainax, so he's going to have a lot of... Most of the works he's worked on, pretty much, maybe all of them, are Gainax anime. But, uh, yeah, 1987. Very old anime. Love the animation style. you got to love old 80s anime. Very long film as well. A deleted scene, oh, excellent. There you go. So, yeah, let's get around to unboxing this, shall we? So, with the sleeve off. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we start with the digipack. A really nice looking digipack. We got it on DVD. And we got it on Blu-ray. I would have preferred if had a crack ton of uh, special features on a Blu-ray and then the film, but... <laughs> uh, not really interested in Blu-rays on DVDs, because the DVD is just never going to be touched. Digipack. Not Digipack, I meant the booklet. <laughs> wow. Nice pictures, nice information. 
Wow, look at that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a booklet. Very good. I'll give this booklet a 7 out of 10. I would have put it up to an 8 if there was like this. See this? This page is just dedicated to pictures, see? These two uh, pages are dedicated to pictures, which is excellent. But if only you turned the page and like there was more ones like that, see? And that's about it, and then it just doesn't do it anymore. See? There's like three pages with like actual pictures on there. Now, I hate picture books with just pictures because it's just lack of interest. They just print off pictures and print them on here. But, um, yeah, give it a solid 7, a high, because there's a lot of information, really nice art. Would have given it a, uh, yeah, would have given it a 9 if it's hardback. I would have given it a 7.5 if there's more pages. But, uh, yeah, not many pages. Not many pictures, beautiful pictures like this. So 7 out of 10 will be... Should suffice, I think. Yeah. Pretty short unboxing. Did you pack? Chip board up box. Oh, really nice artwork there. Yeah, I'll watch that when I got the time. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I kind of want to rewatch uh, five centimeters per second on Blu ray. I've seen it on DVD. Just kind of want to. Watch it on Blu-ray now. And yeah, seeing as that's going to be the next unboxing, <laughs> I'll see you on the next one, ladies and gentlemen. The Flying Lucha. Sure, bye-bye.